waited to have sex until you met someone so devastatingly beautiful it hurt just to breathe, thinking of a life void of their body next to yours. I'm talking about a beauty here, so fierce, so potent it can't be contained inside the human heart, but erupts forth and fills you with that great commodity of hope that eventually slow dances into forever. It makes even the most rotten parts of yourself believe they must have done something right. And what if this person made you feel infinite, trusted you knew every inch of your body, yes, even those rotten parts you stored up in the dusty attic of your soul, a best friend you could laugh with or cry your eyes out with moments later, someone worth dying for. What would the sex be like then? Oh. Can we consider the possibility here that maybe this someone is the only someone we were ever meant to have sex with? I mean, I may be old-fashioned, but we live in a world with over six billion people curled into a fist, protesting death. What if you chose to collide with a single one of them? What would it be like then to express the ultimate act of vulnerability? But well, hey, vulnerability is messy. It's hard to love someone who hates themselves. And you hate yourself a lot. So you figure, the darker the room, the safer you are, the more drunk they are, the less they'll see. But what if it wasn't meant to be that way? What if vulnerability meant, I love you. And hell yeah, I've seen all your rotten parts, but you still make the palms of my hands sweat whenever I'm around you. So we wouldn't be afraid to ask for anything in the bedroom, or on the kitchen table, or in the backseat of the car. Light on, never hiding yourself. What if sex was enveloped in trust instead of lust and consisted of one less drink and not much more love? What would it be like then? <coughs> what?